Hi and welcome to Priori Digital Studio Tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to set up and use your Smart Calendar spreadsheet in the most efficient way. In this video, I'm using Google Sheets, but the Excel version is almost the same. First thing, we protect most of the cells where there are formulas to make sure that you don't erase any important formulas that could impact the spreadsheet. So if you see this message, it means that you are not supposed to touch it. But don't worry, I'll show you step by step how to prepare your spreadsheet. If by mistake you touch a cell with a formula and you see this message popping, simply click on the little X and you should be fine. Another important note is please don't move a cell from one place to another. If you do that, it will generate for sure an issue. The best way to avoid these errors is to copy and paste your data. Now let's have a look at the setup tab. The first thing you'll have to do is to enter your currency symbol. So I'm currently in dollars, so I simply enter the dollar sign, like so. Then you can enter your data in each table, income, bills, subscriptions, and debts. So you will have to enter the name of your transaction, the frequency of the payment, the amount, and the date of the first payment. I will write some example to show you how to fill this tab. So let's say we take an example in the income table. Let's say we enter one more side hustle. Let's say the frequency is every month and the amount is $500. Then if you are in Google Sheets, simply double click in the cell with a calendar and as you can see, a small calendar will appear. Then you can select the date. However, if you are on Excel, you will have to type in the date. So now let's take another example with the subscription table and let's write Spotify. Let's say that the frequency is bi-weekly, so every two weeks, and that the amount is, let's say, $10. And then finally, choose your first payment date. Now let's have a look at the payment schedule tab. First thing, be careful because this tab is not protected to allow you to filter your data. So make sure to never erase any formulas. In this tab, you have the summary of your payments sorted by date. If you have to do any modification to a payment concerning the date or the amount, you can simply ink it indicate the, the modification here. So now let's do an example together. So let's say our mortgage uh, date is not on September 15th, but will start on September 1st. So I simply select the new date in the little calendar. Then let's write the new amount. It's not $1,000 anymore, it's $1,200. So these modifications will be reflected in the calendar that I will explain later on on this video. So then if you see all those payments and everything is, looks good to you, then you don't have to indicate anything or make any modification. Then once your payment is done or paid, simply tick the box under the column paid. Again, this will be reflected in your calendar. As you can see at the top of the tab, you also have four big filters where you can select the data you want to see. So for example, if you want to see only your income payments, then you can click on the category filter and then only select your income. So as you can see, now you all have the list of your income only. Now let's make another example together. So we will clear our filter. So just click again on category and then select all. As you can see, all your data will appear again. Now let's say we want to filter by month. So we can clear everything and click on September, for example, if you want to only see your data from September. So as you can see now, you have the list of all your payments and income in September. You can also um, mix two filters together. So let's say that you wanted to see all your income in September. Then you can just click on the category and select income. So as you can see, now you have the list of only your income in September. Don't forget, if you want to see your full data, you will have to clear all your filters like so. On another important note, this tab is a little bit different with Excel since these features are not necessarily available. 
So in Excel, there, are, there is a standard filter at the top of the tab. Even though the feature is not exactly the same, you can basically filter the same information. Now let's have a look at the Smart Calendar tab where you will be able to see all your monthly bills. In this tab, you only have to choose the year and the month using the drop-down menu. So let's say we write 2023 and then select a month. Let's select October. Then, as you can see, you also have a start date. So you can use the drop-down menu to start your week on any day. So in my case, let's say in this example, I'll just start on Sunday. So just select Sunday. Once this is done, you will see all your income, bills, subscriptions, and debt with all their associated amounts. So as you can see, all your transactions are in different colors. So you have the legend at the top of the tab that indicates the category of a transaction. Once a transaction is paid and you've ticked it in the previous tab, it will be green and strike through. This way, you will never forget to pay a bill, a subscription, or a debt again. Moreover, Right now, as we film this video, we are currently on October 24th. So as you can see, today's date is indicated in blue. Now, if you want to print your smart calendar, it's very simple. The first thing that you will have to do is to select your whole calendar. Then click on the printer icon here at the top. So it can take a little bit of time before your calendar appear. It's totally normal. And in your parameter, the first thing that you'll have to select is selected cells. Then you can choose if you want to have it on landscape more mode or portrait. I highly recommend landscape. Then you can also change other parameter like fit to page. This way you will have more bigger uh, calendar. So as you can see now, everything looks good. We perfectly see our calendar. So the next step is to click on next. Then your computer will give you all your printing uh, options. You can select your printer and then click on print. In my case, I won't do it since I don't have a printer. Again, as you can see, while clicking on cancel, I mistakenly clicked on a cell with a formula. So again, every time you see this message, you simply have to click on the X and you will be fine. If you are using the Excel version of our spreadsheet and you want to print it, it's almost the same steps. However, in our um, README instructions, you, you will see a step-by-step -step on how to print on Excel. Finally, we also added a second calendar so you can plan your future month. So currently we are, as I said, in October. So that's why my calendar number one is October. However, on the calendar number two, I already selected November so I can already plan ahead my bills, subscriptions, income and debts for next month. So that's it. I hope this tutorial helps you easily set up your spreadsheet. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Follow us on Priori Digital Studio on Etsy and YouTube for new sneak peeks on organizational templates.